we're looking at this incredibly useful and valuable fundamental skill, the skill of opening up a closed guard. We've looked at what is unquestionably the most well-used, well-liked, and successful method of doing so in international competition, the square stand-up to vertical posture. Um, a big part of what I'm going to coach you to do is to, to spend most of your time on that method. There's a reason why it's become number one, because it's the best all-round method. Uh, but it's not the only method. And I have good news for you. There is a second method, almost as successful as a square stand-up to vertical posture. And it works particularly well in situations where you cannot get the vertical posture required by the previous move. So these two moves tend to work very well in unison. We're going to look now at the knee post method, where I take one of my knees and I post it between my training partner's buttocks at the tailbone. And we use the pressure of the knee to gain inside position with our knee and open our training partner's closed guard. This is, as I said earlier, a very, very good uh, auxiliary technique to vertical stand-ups. Whenever you can't get vertical posture, this is my go-to method. Okay. The start is identical. You probably guessed that already. Because we always start down here on two knees, just like so. We know that the problems on when we're on two knees are that my opponent can pull me in with the legs and that he can start playing with my arms and bring them either forward or even worse, across the center line. Okay? So our whole thing is to shut that down right from the start. We shut down the jackknifing of his hips by wedging our knees just on the outside of his hips like so. When he goes to pull me in now, it's a lot more difficult for him. The more he goes to pull me in, interestingly, the more exposed his double lapel grip becomes. And from here, double lapel grips put a limit on how far he can move my hands. He can no longer move my hands across the center line. That's potentially the single worst thing that can happen to me in a closed guard is my arms get put across the center line. That's just the absolute worst that can happen, okay? Double lapel grips make that impossible. When he goes to pull the arms across, he's going to have to break the grips first before that can happen. Now, um, it also takes care of the second biggest danger, that my opponent can take my hands above his shoulder line and start to expose me in this fashion. Okay. My two hands punched into his armpits and my wrists cocked back like so make for a very strong brace. And when he goes to push and pull me around between my knee position and my hand position, it's very difficult, so it's a good stable position, okay? Now, typically what we do from here is we gather everything together, we put one hand in the center, okay? But for a knee post, we're gonna skip that. We're just gonna go right up to our feet, right from here. So I'm gonna stand up and come up one, two, and we're up to our base. You'll notice it's a two-step procedure now because I'm stable because of my hands. I don't need the third finishing step to get stable as I did for a stand up into vertical posture. So I come up one and two, okay? Now, from this position, I'm gonna start an action of putting one knee in the center. So I'm gonna take one knee and put it in just like so. I start an action, my knee typically doesn't start in the center, I flex and bend my hamstring and then watch this trick. My left leg starts walking into alignment. As my left leg goes back, it fits my knee into the proper center position. When my knee is right on his tailbone, that's when I start the action of bending, and we put a knee post right in the center that opens my training partner's closed guard. I'm just gonna demonstrate this solo one time so you can see what's happening. Okay, we start off with our imaginary opponent. We close our knees, so we wedge his hips. Then we insert double lapel grips, and we come up one, two. Then from here, I walk my knee as close to the center as possible. Often, I use a kind of shuffling step to accomplish this. When I feel my knee is close to the tailbone, then this leg takes over. I step back one, two, three, four, five, as many as it takes until I feel my knee is truly at his tailbone. Once that occurs, we start the action of bending. This knee here thrusts forward and the second leg points outwards. And from here, the guard will split. Occasionally, you will come up against an opponent who is significantly taller than yourself. If this should occur, getting the knee in will be quite easy. 
but separating his legs may be somewhat more difficult. Don't worry, I will cover this very shortly. Mateus has short legs, so um, it doesn't really apply with him, but I'll show you what to do very soon. Don't worry. So back to partner training. Mateus has a good grip on my body, and we go in and we wedge the hips initially, just like so. Now we get double lapel grips. We force the hands down into the armpits like so. When Mateus goes to move and pull me around, it's a difficult thing to accomplish, okay? Now, from here, we come up, one and two. Now, I work to get my knee in the middle, okay? I place my knees close together, pinching around him, and then from here, look how I push my knee backwards so that it goes into a good attacking position. Now, I start a shuffling action backwards with the second leg. This will start a process of alignment where my knee reaches his tailbone. It becomes very, very hard for my opponent to hold on. At this point, my hands start coming backwards. My hands drift back to the belt, to the pants, even inside the knees. It doesn't really matter. What does matter is that we get our knee in the inside position, the guard is open, and we're ready to start passing. I'm going to demonstrate this for a time with our butts facing the camera, so you can see the leg position. Okay, we start off wedging the hips, double lapel grip in place. I come up, one and two. Now, initially there's a knee pinch here, then I take my knee and I fit it in behind my training partner's buttocks until I feel it's very close to the center. I step back and I go one, two, three, until everything starts lighting up. When I feel the guard split, my hands retract, and we find ourselves in an excellent passing position. Once again, from a different angle. First, wedging hips, double lapel. Mateus goes to move me around and finds it quite difficult. Now we come up, one and two. Look how my knees pinch. I use my left knee to feed to my right knee. Okay. Right knee goes behind the buttocks, left knee moves it into place, and then from here I start the action of walking backwards. Eventually, we find the perfect angle, the hands retract, and we're in good passing position.